Hey guys, it's Lala Lottie and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about a specific manga series that I have seen the anime of recently get a lot more popular, which is actually really upsetting to me because I found that the anime was actually rather disappointing in comparison to the manga. Now this is a rather popular thing to have happened where the manga seems to have been better, but for some reason, I only see specific manga influencers talking about this manga series, which is rather disappointing to me. And I feel like a big reason as to why this series hasn't popularized the way it should have is mainly because it is a shoujo series and it is advertised for girls. Now, if you haven't got the hints from us and a shoujo manga, and you still don't know what I'm talking about, well, let me just show you. Today I'm going to be talking about Yona of the Dawn. I had the cover the wrong way around. So, Yona of the Dawn, what's it about? Yona of the Dawn follows our main character, Yona, who is a very young, bratty kind of princess. Everything in life is given to her by her father. She hasn't really um, grown up, although she is a growing woman she has not come to terms with the fact that she although she's a princess she needs to work for things in her life and things massively take a turn for the worst when her love of her life or love of her life suwon comes into the picture and he has her entire family with yona having no clue why he's done this and being a target of him as well, she has to flee with her bodyguard Hawk and find the seven dragons to try and protect her, sue on and take back what was rightfully hers. Yona of the Dawn is massively targeted towards young girls, but I feel like a lot of anyone could read this book. Anyone could read into this series if you're a young guy, if you're a young girl, if you're an older woman, if you're an older guy. I feel like this series is equally enjoyable for everyone. Yona of the Dawn isn't just some shoujo manga. It is more than that. It is an action. It is a thriller. It is a coming of age. It is romance. It has everything in it that a manga should. This is a manga that I have rated so highly on my anime list because of how amazing the series has been to go through and to read and to see Yona's journey. So this is where the catch comes in. Yona of the Dawn actually received an anime adaptation which has massively blown up as of recent years. And it's fair to say, although this anime is being rated highly with young girls, I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> What? Your favourite manga has been adapted into an anime? What could possibly make you not enjoy it, Lottie? Well, let me explain to you guys. Yona of the Dawn has a lot of things going in its manga and it has such a solid pacing, yet when I was watching the anime, it seemed to have been leading to nowhere. And I know it is incomplete and there is so far from what I've heard, there is no plans of any new seasons. The anime has done nothing to impress me as to the level that the manga has. In the manga, we kind of see like the understanding of Yona. We see her developed a lot better and we see these very emotional scenes that sort of show her character and who she is who she was and how she's developed. Meanwhile, when I watched the anime, this important parts of the manga just seems to be so fast paced. It didn't seem to have like that much of an emotional effect on me as the manga did. And reading further into the manga, there was a lot more detail that went into it that was just so much more enjoyable. As well with the anime, they have this thing, which a lot of shoujo anime have this typical thing of doing, which is taking the manga and adding a lot of comedy and unneeded things into it. And as much as I love a bit of comedy, as much as I love teeny tiny bits from like the manga, I feel like they overdid it to the point where it was just like, okay, this is kind of cringe, can we get on with the plot? 
there seemed to be just so much time wasted while I was watching this anime that it kind of felt really bad because they did not get the emotional understanding of Yona of the Dawn at all. I feel like especially as like a young woman who's had like a lack of representation for Christ's sake, like our powerful women idols in anime and manga have been all these sailor scouts, all these pretty girls. Meanwhile, we've had no one who is just an ordinary kind of girl. Now you can say Yona's a princess, but she has very human traits. Instead of being like this stupid little, oh, I, I just got magical powers one day. She worked towards her strength and finding her way as to being the strong woman that she needs to be to follow her path. And with all of her trauma, all of her past, we see her develop into being a much better woman. Instead of just seeing her get this special little power up and becoming a powerful woman, we get to see that it doesn't take two seconds to become powerful and to become the best version of yourself, the version that you're meant to be. It kind of shows that you need to take time. You need to work towards it yourself. Nothing's going to come to you unless you put the effort and training in. I feel like Yona of the Dawn has been one of those things that have just been like kind of nulled down to just being a girl's manga mainly because, you know, it's a shoujo. But I do feel like a lot more people need to start reading into this series. Now, if they did make a season two of this anime or if they did go ahead and make newer versions of an anime of Yona of the Dawn, which I would love to see because honestly, as much as I do love manga, I feel like anime does a better job of telling a story and if they could do it correctly they could make Yona of the Dawn into a masterpiece. But I would love to see this adapted and I really hope to see this become a much more popular series because as of now unless you're like a part of like the manga talk manga Instagram community you won't really see too many people talk about Yona of the Dawn. It's very unpopular like as well i'm just gonna show you this as well like these panels as well as like the art of the covers and the backs are so beautiful and i feel like although the anime was pretty the manga is just that tiny bit more prettier like i'm just gonna show you this this is a panel in volume eight i'm pretty sure this is volume nine and this is where we see what if i get stronger like, you know, it's slow pacing, but it's a pace we need to go at for good development. Now, as of now, this manga is actually still ongoing, and I'm pretty sure it's planning to end within, like, the next year or two. So, I'd hop on this manga now while you can. Because let me just tell you, this is one of the best and most favorite series I own. Oh, shoot, I forgot to talk about this, didn't I? Oh shoot, I forgot to talk about the other characters other than Yona. Oh no, what a woman move of me. <laughs> but I just want to say like, there have been a lot of villains in manga which I have read and I have fully like just been like, okay, I can't wait for this guy to get now of him. I can't wait for him to just go. When I was reading this manga, there was like a lot of poli politics and political like debate in it. And you kind of start to see why the villain does what he does. But also you kind of have this hatred towards him because of what he has done. And I haven't had that in a manga in a long time. And I feel like this is something a lot more manga need to do. We need to have like political kind of um, villains where we are like, are they bad? Or are they doing the right thing? I honestly haven't had this since I've read Death Note when we had Kira. And honestly, this villain is so well developed. He's developed just as much as Yona. He's developed just as much as Hark. This is what I love. The manga doesn't just focus on one character and make everyone a second character. Everyone in this story is put first and is put as a main character. Have I talked about this manga too much yet? <laughs> Can you tell I really do love this series? But yeah, I think I should leave the video at this and just say, 
Yone of the Dawn is one of my favourite series and I do recommend you guys go out and read it because it's pretty epic and it deserves all the attention it gets and I know as well as a female following I do have a large male following so if I could influence more guys to go ahead and read this I know it's shoujo guys I know it's a bit intimidating I know it's a bit girly but trust me it's pretty badass you will enjoy it <laughs> So there we go. I'm going to leave the video at that for you guys and I guess I'll see you in the next video. So uh, make sure to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts on Yona of the Dawn are. And um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Farewell, friendly eye.